This week we're taking a look at the acting and directing powerhouse Robin Wright and her top five most iconic performances. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matt Rogers. Robin Wright, born in Dallas, Texas in 1966, has earned seven Primetime Emmy Award nominations plus a Satellite and a Golden Globe for her work in film and television. Wright first caught our eye back in 1984 in the NBC soap opera Santa Barbara, however really got some traction in her first major film, which comes in at number five. The Princess Bride Wright starred in the title role way back in 1987. Based on the novel of the same name, The Princess Bride has become somewhat of a cult classic. Wright wasn't actually chosen for the role until very late in the casting process, one week before they started filming to be exact. The casting directors exhausted almost all their options before putting out an open casting call which Wright nervously responded to. The director and casting director knew she was perfect as soon as they laid eyes on her and Wright's career was officially underway. Number 4 we have Forrest Gump. The 1994 smash hit drama Forrest Gump starring Tom Hanks saw Robin Wright as his love interest Jenny who is definitely one of Wright's most career-defining roles. However, she wasn't actually the first choice for the part, and not even their second choice. After Demi Moore and Nicole Kidman turned down the role, the producers looked at Wright, who partnered alongside Tom Hanks' Forrest Gump perfectly. This landed Wright with multiple award nominations, including a Saturn Award, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and a Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Number 3 we have The Congress. Now this one's a bit out there. For those of you that haven't seen it, The Congress is a film in which Robin Wright stars as herself, struggling in Hollywood and pressured by her ambitious agent to record her consciousness into a program so that her current appearance and persona can be captured digitally and placed into movies. Where this movie gets really strange is halfway through when the movie literally turns into a cartoon and follows her adventures inside a fully animated world. Although incredibly unique, Robin Wright playing herself, or at least a character based on herself, is interesting to see. Due to its obvious cold shoulder to traditional characters and storytelling. Coming in at number two, we have Adore. Wright fits in perfectly with this cast of fellow Australians. Adore is the story of two mothers of teens who fall for each other's 18-year-old sons. Lil, played by Naomi Watts, and Roz, played by Wright, both give amazing performances of the conflict both parents have as they face the complicated emotions that come with falling for your best friend's son. Not only is Adore a great movie, but Robin Wright's Australian accent is borderline flawless. Australian accents are never ever depicted correctly in film. However, Robin Wright and also Kate Winslet are the only two that have ever got my approval. Tom and I had a long talk the other day and um, neither of us can bear to leave here, not for now. You've made your mind up? Yeah. Now before we get to number one, let's take a look at some honourable mentions. Wonder Woman. Wright starred as General Antiope in 2017's Wonder Woman. Although short-lived, her strong female presence made her a great role model for Diana. Blade Runner 2049. Yet another strong female role, Wright played a lieutenant and stole the few scenes that she was in, but none of these lived up to our number one spot. Number one is Claire Underwood from House of Cards. If you're looking for a strong female role, you can't do much better than Claire Underwood. Claire is unforgiving, ruthless, and has an undying thirst for power. Wright plays this brutal role unlike anyone else could. Although her emotional love scenes in the last few seasons have fallen a bit flat, Claire Underwood's cold character is still one of the scariest political figures any of us could imagine. After working with Robin Wright in The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, David Fincher approached her to star in the series, which first aired in 2013. Since then, she has also directed nine episodes of the Netflix original. After three seasons, the character of Claire Underwood became more prominent, and for season four of the show, Wright fought for a pay rise to match her co-star Kevin Spacey. After contract disputes, Wright was paid $420,000 per episode, which still was shadowed by Spacey's $500,000 per episode. If you ask me, although Hollywood is known for paying male actors more, Wright didn't quite have the same credentials that Spacey did coming into the series. Although the argument could be made that looking at House of Cards on its own, season 4 onwards did see the Underwoods take an equal spotlight. Robin Wright got the last laugh though, in October of 2017 it was announced that due to sexual misconduct allegations, Spacey was fired from the show altogether, leaving Wright to star solo in the upcoming 6th and final season. And there we have it, Robin Wright's top 5 performances. What did you think? Did you agree with the list? Let me know in the comments. But thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.